All right, you guys, we've been talking a lot about finding bugs in your backyard, but if you haven't found much, perhaps it's time for a new strategy. We need to actively create good spots for these bugs to live in instead of just passing through your garden. Think of them as bug beds and breakfasts. In today's episode of Backyard Biodiversity, we are going to show you how to make your garden irresistible to native bugs by creating a good bug habitat. We'll walk you through how to create a bug hotel and a wetter motel using materials you'll find at home or in the shed. Bugs are not too keen on gardens that look like a neatly mowed bowling green. They need somewhere to hide. One of the easiest and most natural bug homes that you can make is a pile of old sticks. If left undisturbed over time, they'll develop a whole bug community. When building good bug habitat, it's important to keep your invertebrate friends safe from predators, including mice, rats, hedgehogs and cats. The way to do this is to provide them with hiding spaces that are too small for mice to crawl into. The ideal hidey hole needs to be between 10 and 16 millimeters in diameter. This size is small enough to keep the mice out, but big enough to fit a pretty large tree wetter. One useful thing to do to make the measuring a bit easier is to mark those measurements on your finger in advance. So I've marked 10 and 16 on my finger so I don't have to break out the ruler every time I have to measure my hidey holes. Depending on what materials you have around the house and how creative you'd like to get, there's a range of hotel styles you can make for your bugs and some special motel types for your wetter. I've already made a number of five-star bug hotels in my backyard. I've mainly used old shelving units and then I've stacked them full of twigs, sticks, bits of broken pots. We've got pine cones in there and shells as well. This one has a roof made of onduline and it provides home to one of the local tree wetter. I'll also show you how to make a simple bug hotel from fresh. I started by building a simple frame out of untreated pine firewood blocks and nails suitable for outdoor use. You're good to use whatever cuts of untreated wood you have lying around. Next I collected bamboo, twigs and sticks from the garden and cut them to size. I use natural materials that I know bugs love. Then I packed the frame leaving small gaps of no larger than 16mm for the bugs to enter. Voila! I'll now go and place it in a nice sheltered shady spot where I know lots of bugs hang out. If you can't build your own frame, never fear, help is here. You can look around your house and find some old stuff to repurpose and make into your frame. You can use old drawers, a cupboard, a wooden shelf, an old toolbox, beer and wine crates, or even an old empty tire as your frame. My options today are this big wooden pallet and this really snazzy CD holder. This is too big for me to work with, so I'm going to make an intimate Airbnb out of this one. So get creative and look around the house to use something. Though it's probably a good idea to check with mum first if it's okay to use. I gave my CD holder a base and a roof to keep the rain out. And then I went collecting material for my hidey holes just like Emily did. I lined out any empty spaces with twigs and straw. You can also add a mixture of fresh and dry leaves or even strips of jute bags or sacks just to make it cozy. If you've got materials with holes bigger than 10 to 16 millimeters, you can reduce the hole size by stuffing leaves, twigs and other material inside it till it's just the right size. Don't worry if it's not perfect. The bugs aren't going to mind and they will love it. That's it! You've got a bug hotel! Check your hotel occasionally to ensure everything is okay. Natural materials can degrade over time, so replenish those materials if they start rotting away. You might also find some spiders trying to take over, so just make sure they're not eating up all your guests. If you found a wetter in your backyard, 
then you could try making a motel especially for them. Weta don't really like sharing their spaces with other critters, so here are some motel ideas just for them. You can make a one star motel out of bamboo. You need to make sure that you cut the segments so that you've got a roof at the top and that you've got an entrance at the bottom. And the hole that runs through the bamboo should be between 10 to 16 millimetres. Secure them to a strong tree branch or wooden post with string, cable ties or harakiki rope. To make a three star motel, take a piece of natural untreated wood and drill some holes in it about 10 to 16 millimeters wide and about 10 to 15 centimeters deep. Drill up into the wood at an angle. You can then place this wood off or on the ground on a tree or against a fence post secured with rope. You can drill different sized holes to house different kinds of wetter. If you've got the right materials around you, you can have a go at making a luxurious five-star wetter motel like this one that I made with my dad. We'll leave instructions on how to make them on Facebook and on the website. Make sure that you use untreated timber. It's been a while since I've checked this one, so let's see if there's anyone home. Who said three was a crowd? Here you can see two beautiful female tree wetter and one male tree wetter. You can tell them apart because the females have a long spike on their back called an ovipositor used for egg laying. The males have two churchy or a pair of short tapering sensory feelers projecting from their bum and they do not have an ovipositor. The males also have a big black mask with big black jaws on their face. And there you have it. Now it's your turn. Hunt for some resources and create your very own bug hotel or wetter motel for the backyard. This can be a fun family activity because it's always safer to have an adult helping you with the wood cutting and the drilling. We're going to keep an eye on our hotels and give you pictures of what we find and we would love to see photos and videos of your bug motels and what you find. Most of these bugs come out at night, so the best way to find them is to go for a nighttime adventure. So stay tuned, because this Friday we are going to go on a nighttime adventure in your backyard.